It's a scandal that the Congress party will not address because they're right in the middle of it. Fact is, there were donations to the Rajiv Gandhi Foundation from China between 2005 and 2009. Obvious question, was foreign money used for a personal trust? Was there a quid pro quo? Fact number two that the Congress party has not addressed so far. They signed the East Asia Free Trade Ag Agreement to include China, entered the RCEP negotiations at a time when the Chinese embassy, Chinese government was transferring funds. Was it a quid pro quo to enter into negotiations? That's question number two. The third fact that the Congress party has not addressed as far as the Rajiv Gandhi Foundation is concerned. A secret MOU, a memorandum of understanding was signed between the Communist Party of China and the Congress party. Did the Congress not extend favours to the Chinese government because of the proximity over the years? That's fact number three. Fact number four, and the question that arises which has not been answered so far. Fact number four, the family trust, that is the Rajiv Foundation Trust, worked with the Chinese agency which many governments across the world says is involved in espionage activity between the PLA, Communist Party of China and different foreign governments. Was the UPA allowing China to influence Indian affairs? It's the obvious question. Fact number five this afternoon as we get you more details. The Prime Minister's Fund, paper show and Republic TV broke how the Prime Minister's Relief Fund money was diverted to the Rajiv Gandhi Foundation under the UPA government. Why was public money, why was your money, my money, India's money being diverted to a private body, a private trust? by Sonia Gandhi, who was the president or the head of the PM Relief Fund. Now, let me also tell you, fact number six is that the Rajiv Gandhi Foundation took large donation from corporates. The allegation is that the money came into the private family trust and contracts were given by the government. Now, that's the allegation to which the Congress Party has not answered. Fact number seven, as we get you more and more details of the Sonia Trust scam, fact number seven is that the PM Relief Fund under the UPA was audited by a Congress politician's firm. Believe it or not, that was an allegation that was made and the question remains unanswered. Was a minister in the UPA, then also a parliamentarian and then a governor? Now, the links are out. Was there an attempt to cover up the financial mess, the scandal by appointing someone in the Congress itself? Fact number eight, the family trust was not audited by CAG or under RTI. They obviously wanted to hide the activities because public money was being diverted. And perhaps that answers why they were not open to public scrutiny. Fact number nine on the Sonia Trust scam. Let's bring you the facts of what has been exposed so far. The Rajiv Gandhi Foundation allegedly donated money to other family control trust, the Rajiv Charitable Trust. Now, some allegations have been made. Some firms, some trusts that have links to overseas. Why did they donate they were receiving money from public through different ministries and government bodies and then transferring that money to other family control trusts. Why did that happen? Fact number 10 that the Congress party must answer on. It's a scandal and the Congress party has gone into complete silence mode. Fraudster Mehul Choksi's company, he's a director of a company called Naviraj Estates and that company donates to the Rajiv Foundation Trust at a time when Mehul Choksi is getting thousands and thousands of crores in loans from banks, public sector banks. Was it quid pro quo? Some questions the Congress has not answered yet.